Pops has already been used in this war. The War Department believes it may be used again, this time against us. If so, it will be used suddenly and without warning. Your gas mask is your major protection. This picture is to show you how to use it. When you go aboard ship, a carrier containing your gas mask will be issued to you. This is your mask. It's the finest type in the world. But to use it intelligently, you must understand how it works. This is the molded rubber face piece of your Mark III gas mask. The eyepieces are large to afford you specially full vision. This is the diaphragm assembly. The diaphragm is airtight, but it contains a number of thin cellophane sheets so you can talk and be understood while you wear the mask. Below the diaphragm is the outlet valve. This is a rubber tab that allows air to pass out of the mask, but does not allow it to come in. Air enters the mask by way of this canister. The canister contains chemicals that purify the air, which then passes through two tubes, and then into the mask. This is the purified air that you breathe. The mask is held against your face by six harness straps. These straps are adjustable and join in the back at the head harness pad, which fits against the back of your head. This then is your mask. Not very complicated, is it? But unless you understand how to use it, the mask will be useless to you in case of a gas attack. To accustom men to the use of the mask, the Navy has devised a drill. There are certain things you must learn to do instinctively when you put on your mask. The best way to learn them is in the form of a drill. Let's watch this drill in detail. When the order sling is given, the shoulder strap is placed in the palm of your left hand with the flap of the carrier facing away from you. Then when the order mask comes, extend the strap with the right hand and passing the left elbow through the loop, swing the strap over your head. Adjust the strap to the junction of your neck and right shoulder and place the mask on your left buttock. At the command unsling mask, pull the strap away from the body. The left elbow is passed under the strap to act as a lever. Hold the strap in your left palm, the flap facing out. Now we will go through the drill by the numbers. The drill has been broken down into a number of steps to make it easier to follow. At the command by the numbers gas, first dispose of your headgear. The regulation cap can be folded and put between your legs. If you're wearing a helmet, raise the chin strap with both hands and sling the helmet over your right arm by the chin strap. With the left hand, bring the carrier forward. Hold it at the bottom. Put the right hand under the flap between the two snap fasteners and pull up sharply. Then grasp the inner flap on the outside edge near the snap and pull across the body. If you try to open the flap by pulling on the inside part, it will jam. If there is a gas attack, you will find this very annoying. The flap must be opened by a pull on the outside across the body. With the first and second fingers straddling the outlet valve, Grasp the diaphragm assembly and bring the mask up in front of your face. With the left hand, thumb underneath, grasp the left side of the canister and drop the face piece forward. With the right hand, grasp the hose and lower harness strap between thumb and index finger as close to the canister as possible. Extend the other three fingers to raise the head harness pad. Do the same with the left hand. Let the mask hang normally. Don't separate your hands too far, as this squeezes the mask together. Now bring the mask in position in front of your face and thrust your chin forward, ready to put on the mask at the next order. On the command two, put on the mask by inserting your chin into the face piece and then carry the head harness and canister over your head. Make sure the pad is seated in the center of the back of your head. 
Fit the mask to your face by smoothing out the edges of the face piece from the bottom to the top. Don't scalp yourself. This man is trying to get on his mask with his hands held too far apart. This squeezes the mask together. On the command three, clear your mask. This removes gas poisoned air from the inside of the face piece. You do this by closing the outlet valve, pressing it against the chin of the mask and exhaling vigorously. This will force the air out the sides of the mask. Check mask. Pinch off the hoses as close to the canister as possible to cut off the air intake. Then inhale. If the mask is a good fit, the face piece will collapse against the face and no air will enter. This is a quick means of determining if the mask is properly fitted to your face. On the last command four, replace headgear. Fold in the inner carrier flap and fasten the outside flap. Replace the carrier in original position. When the order is given by the numbers, remove and replace mask, first test for gas. If gas is detected, never unmask. First, take a moderate breath. Then bend over close to the ground where the concentration of gas would be the heaviest. But take care not to touch the ground with any part of the body or clothing. Insert the index finger in the loop formed by the junction of the lower head strap at the face piece. Break the seal against the face and sniff gently. Don't take a deep breath and do not touch your face with your hands. They may be contaminated. Stand up and clear the face piece. The mask is always cleared immediately after outside air has been admitted. Now take off your headgear with your left hand. With your right, grasp the diaphragm assembly, pull the mask downwards, outwards, and then up over the head. Place the mask over your left arm with the canister away from your body and the outlet valve pointing upwards. Put on your headgear. With the right hand, take the mask by the diaphragm assembly with the first two fingers straddling the outside valve. On the command two, with the left hand, bring the carrier in front of the body. Open the carrier with the left hand and prepare it for the entrance of the canister. Start the canister in with the outlet valve facing away from the body. At three, place the canister well down into the bottom of the carrier. Shake the mask into the carrier gently, making sure that the diaphragm is parallel to the deck. Close the inner flap. Then close the outer flap. Return the carrier to a position behind your body. Now let us watch the complete drill. On the command by the numbers gas, the men uncover, open the carriers and take out their masks, holding them by the diaphragm assemblies with the outlet valves away from them. Taking the proper grasp, they prepare to put them on. Two, the men put on the masks, seat the head harness and fit the masks to their faces. Three, the men clear the masks and then check them. Four, the men replace their headgear and fasten the snaps of the empty carriers. Returning them to their places. Now the unmasking. First the test for gas, then clear the mask. Then the actual unmasking. Pulling the mask downward, outward and over the head. Put the mask over your left arm with the outlet valve pointing upwards. Put on your headgear. Take the mask by the diaphragm with the first two fingers straddling the outlet valve. Two, bring the carrier forward with the left hand and hold it with the right hand. Open the carrier and start the mask in. Three, work the canister into the bottom of the carrier. Shake the mask into place with the diaphragm parallel to the deck.
then close the flaps and return the carrier to a position behind your body. The drill is complete. Naturally, under actual battle conditions, there is not time to go through the drill by the numbers. But if you have gotten accustomed to the routine, you will follow it instinctively during an actual gas attack. This is the whole purpose of the drill by the numbers. So you can put on your mask effectively and rapidly. In case of an actual attack, you wouldn't have much time to think. Stop breathing as soon as you detect gas. A man should be able to mask in eight seconds. When every second counts, you mustn't put on a mask full of poisoned air by forgetting to clear the face piece or get your canister tangled up in your head strap. You may never have to use your gas mask. We certainly hope that you won't. But if you don't know how to use it and there is a gas attack, remember, you're a long time dead.